here's another little item that I use quite a bit. Uh, just out of a piece of nylon. Went down to my local plastic store and bought it. Hard to see, but you can see there's little steps throughout it. It's got five. It's made to hold can bearing so you can groove the back of them. Chuck this up in the lathe. So, you have, these are small block forward can bearings. I'll explain the reason for grooving them here. But I've cut this in steps for the different size bearings so they'll slide on snug and the nylon doesn't hurt the bearing and then a bolt and another piece of nylon for the end snug it up and there's enough tension to push all these bearings together and what I call friction drive them Uh, their center in it. That's where the oil usually comes through to feed the bearing. But I'm going to groove the back of these. They do it on dark blocks. They don't do it on small block Fords. Big block Fords. I even do big block Chevys. So we'll show you how to make some little grooves in it. Old groove go about ten thousandths deep is all you need. Move over to the next one. Take a piece of fine emery. Let's remove any burrs on it. That's how I groove the back of can bearings. Simple little device. You can see it doesn't hurt the inside of the bearing whatsoever. I showed you cutting some cam bearings with my little nylon fixture with the little steps in it and the bearings. You can see the groove cut in it across the hole, goes 360 around it. Uh, the reason I do that, let me get my whiteboard here, get it set up so y'all can see it. Okay, this is just off the Durabon. Uh, website you know the load pushing down here the direction of rotation on the small block Fords big block Chevrolets some of the Chrysler stuff they don't have a groove in the block like a small block Chevrolet so you have to put the oil hole here for the bearing to get oil according to Durabond somewhere up in this area up here is the best location for the oil to feed into the cam bearing and it creates a hydraulic wedge down to the maximum load. And that's the reason that I groove the back of the bearing. So I can move on small block forward instead of putting the oil hole here. I can take that oil hole and move it from here to up in this location somewhere. And with that groove, it'll feed oil around the bearing and out that hole and create the hydraulic wedge and keep from wearing the bearings out. I don't know how many people actually do something like that. I've done it for a lot of years. It definitely seems to help the situation as far as the cam bearings go. Okay, people have been asking about the fixture, how it worked. This block has got the knock sensor bosses in it. The only difference that I had to do to make it work was make some little spacers hold it up off of the knock sensor bosses and just use a longer bolt to bolt it down. 
and you just drill down through those holes that I've put in it and if you're going to do a block that does not have the knock sensor bosses you just bolt it down without the spacer hope that answers some of the questions that people been asking about this appreciate everybody watching subscribing you got comment uh, I'm trying to come up with some more stuff to do as far as some videos I don't know if y'all want more machining more little tech videos I'm gonna run out of tech videos pretty soon that I'm willing to share they may start to get a little farther and fewer between I can do some machine work I've got some dyno work coming up that I'm gonna do so keep watching I'll try to keep putting out some good stuff and I appreciate it thank you very much just got her a bath she goes out and wallers in the dirt <laughs>